one, scene one of Macbeth begins in the midst of a storm. Three witches appear on a Scottish moor. In chanting tones, they agree to meet again after the battle. There, they will greet Macbeth. As quickly as they appeared, they disappear, called away by their familiars, Grimalkin and Paddock. Appearing in only four scenes, the weird sisters act as catalysts for the events that unfold in Macbeth, setting up the dark mood that leads to Macbeth's tragic end. While the witches' motivations for choosing Macbeth are never clear, they relish the prospect of the upcoming battle and the chaos that will follow, referring to it as hurly-burly. This old-fashioned term refers to any chaotic scuffle. In this case, it refers both to the battle that is about to ensue and the subsequent events. The witches summon thunderstorms reflecting their ominous intentions and the play's mood. The mood of malevolence is enhanced when two of the witches reference their familiars or their demon assistants that come in the form of animals. Grimalkin is a cat and Paddock is a toad. Here, Shakespeare alludes to the common belief that witches used animals as messengers between themselves and the devil. Their last chant, fair is foul and foul is fair, reflects their disregard for goodness and a preference for what is foul or evil.